Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Band Lab Plus Coffee. It's time to wake up, wind up, queue up with another excellent track. Today we've got Grunge Not Dead by Hanston Burton over on Band Lab. So, without further ado, to the lab! Let the music unlock your heart. It's time to collaborate. You're part of the family. <laughs> to wake up, wind up, and queue up with another excellent Band Lab track. Hanston Burton with Grunge Not Dead over here on Band Lab at Cliff and Hanston. C-L-I-F-F underscore A-N-D underscore H-A-N-S-T-O-N. And their song Grunge Not Dead as part of the band Thundering Child, which has seven members in it. Let's take a listen. Yeah, I mean, this is an excellent start to all my favorite 90s grunge style stuff. This is a fork of a Nirvana type beat. So this is gonna be that style. The guitar really rings true in this beat. Either it's mixed well or the tone is is really great out of the amp. This is excellent. the way that you get with that grunge, but the drums are really giving us that, how do I put this? Like, that grunge feel, almost like if you close your eyes and there's a back alley fight in New York City in the early 90s. Yeah, I'm watching that happen. Maybe for an episode of The Punisher. I like how everything's panned. I've got the guitar on this side. I've got my second guitar that's kind of plucking on the left side. And it all has space in the mix. So you can hear everything really well. You can discern it all really well. That cymbal rhythm, I like it. What a cool track, Hanson Burton and Thundering Child. Grunge Not Dead. This was great. It gave us all the right grunge vibes, which I appreciate because sometimes we'll get tracks that are titled things like grunge or hard rap or trap. And, and sometimes the genres, uh, the artist maybe is uh, taking artistic liberties with the genre. This was great. This was excellent. I felt grunged out by it. Way to go, guys. So two things I love and one thing I want more of. This guitar, in the beginning, love it. The right amount of reverb, the right amount of delay, the right way to set the atmosphere. I don't think I can say enough good things about it. I also like the way that it sits in its own place in the mix, which was also excellent. But this guitar specifically that carries through the entire track is the one that gives us that vibe of that grunge music where we can close our eyes and kind of see this dystopian early 90s crime-riddled New York that Batman patrolled, right? I understand it's Gotham, I get it, but I'm making real-world real world comparisons here using not real-world thing. But before I get too into the weeds, the second thing I love is this drummer. Let's check this out. This 
cymbal rhythm er, is changing, is switching it up. The kick and the snare fit really well into the mix, and we get lots of fills. I'm a big fan of drum fills. I like a complicated drum rhythm when it comes to using the whole kit. So I really enjoy that. And then the drums take a break to do this really great epic tom thing right here that takes us to the next part of the song where we get into our kick snare groove uh, with the hi-hats. So love that. Love the guitar that starts us off and anchors us through the track and love the drums, uh, whether they be from the original beat or otherwise, tons of fun. The one thing I want more of, and this is completely subjective, I always have to preface with that, I think a vocal would really make this track killer and take it to the next level. It stands on its own. It doesn't need a vocal, but I'm getting so many great vibes from this, I think it could only be enhanced by the right vocal. and. I know, I know this is sacrilege because there are so many grunge groups I could mention and so many great singers I could mention in the genre, but I have Chad Kroger vibes on this, that gravelly, but a little bit more rock, a little bit less grunge voice to go with this very grunge track, a blend of genres that, that could be really great. So the guitar, I love the drums. I love the one thing I want more of maybe in the future add a vocalist. Other than that, everyone make sure you head on over to BandLab and follow Cliff underscore and underscore Hanston. And don't forget to follow DJ Tatius on YouTube, BandLab, or wherever you choose to consume your social media. Until next time, thanks for waking up and drinking your coffee with me, and we will see you tomorrow. <laughs>